Bluegrass State has its own sound thanks to Appalachian folk and bluegrass music. We've had many musical contributions in the Commonwealth, and they've each done their part to influence that sound. People like Bill Monroe, considered the father of bluegrass music, and places like Renfro Valley Entertainment Center, home to Kentucky's Music Hall of Fame, have helped to shape our unique musical heritage. Another Kentucky folk music contributor worthy of praise is Michael Jonathan. He's not only a folk singer in his own right, he's also the creator, producer, and host of Woodsong's Old Time Radio Hour. Woodsong's is a worldwide multimedia celebration of grassroots music filmed in Lexington, Kentucky in front of a live audience. This wildly successful show has a radio audience with over a million listeners each week. On over 500 public radio stations, Woodsong's Old Time Radio Hour is completely volunteer run, and even the artists themselves waive their fees to be a part of the broadcast. The focus for Woodsong's is not about fame or fortune, but rather good folk music. I'm here talking with Michael Jonathan, and you are the creator, producer, host. The one that they blame. <laughs> the one that does everything for what songs. No, I'm just I'm the I'm the cog that uh, helped come up with the idea. But this is a, it's an amazing all volunteer run crew that puts this together, and I take no credit for their hard work. They do 44 shows a year, and they do it for free, and it's brilliant. Well, that's actually pretty amazing. I mean, it is all volunteer, mm -hmm. but you do get these really talented people who, I know you've been asked before why it's so good, and it's because they have their heart into it, right? We've had Jewel, we've had the Mavericks, we've had Judy Collins, we, you know, uh, L. King was just here. I mean, Tommy Emanuel's been on the show. They all come, they come for free. None of them are paid. Local hotels will put them up for free. Local restaurants feed them for free. And it's a, it's a brilliant act of uh, love. And now, you know, Wood Songs has grown into one of the biggest uh, syndicated broadcasts in the world. That's true. How far-reaching is, is your audience? Well, it's on American Forces Radio Network, not on one channel, on two channels now. And that puts Wood Songs in 173 nations. On the radio in 173 nations. On the radio. <laughs> and then uh, in North America, we're on 512. Now, is there any, any place else like this where it's all volunteer and you have that broad of a reach? I mean, this must be pretty much the only, the only thing of its kind, really. Yeah. Wood Songs is the only multi-format, fully syndicated broadcast in history. In history. And we where, get to have it in Lexington, Kentucky. I know, right Kentucky. here at the Lyric, and isn't this a pretty theater? The yes. Lyric Theater, they invited us to come here. It's a, it's a historic room, and it's called the Lyric. Theater, a place for songs, right? So. <laughs> That's right. Well, I understand you um, have had a long history uh, singing, um, storytelling, songwriting, um, and you know, a really uh, pretty prolific career. I was wondering if you might play us a little tune. Sure, here's a verse of a, of a song. You know, we call Wood Songs a front porch, and I think that's something that uh, uh, the world needs right now is a, is a front porch between people, between hometowns between uh, nations. And so this is just a, a verse of that song. There's a front porch round the old home place. All my troubles disappear without a trace. Children play all summer long The world feels right like nothing's wrong And fireflies dance on a starry night Around the old front porch tonight Around the old front porch Michael Jonathan's talent is evident, and he credits his musical influences to Pete Seeger, Bob Dylan, and Dan Fogelberg. Wood Songs has had many famous artists stand on the stage, but it's not just for established talent. Take Wood Song Kids, for example. This is a part of the broadcast when a young performer between the ages of 6 and 16 gets the opportunity to experience being on an international radio and TV show. One such kid is Madison Lewis. 
Although this young lady does not look or sound like a child, she is. At just 12 years old, Madison has wisdom and soul beyond her years. I'm sitting here talking with Madison Lewis, who is a folk singer-songwriter, and you are the ripe old age of 12. I cannot believe that you are only 12 years old. You have so much maturity about you. Thank you. Now, have you always been singing? When did you discover your talent? I discovered my talent ever since I first really picked up my guitar, learning how to play it, because um, my teacher had always wanted me to you know, sing with my songs. So I started singing, and I never really you know, focused on singing until when I start, first started picking up guitar. And now, how long have you been writing music? Actually, my first song I wrote, it was just a little piano tune called Sailors at Sea. It was just the littlest, you know, short little few lines piano tune that I had played for my seventh year old recital. I had started writing there and I had started putting lyrics to my songs when I was 10. Where do you draw your inspiration from to write these songs? I get my inspiration from a lot of things. I, I get, because, you know, I wrote one of my songs, Blonde Martin, based on my Martin guitar that my papa had bought for me. Um, three years ago now. So um, I wrote on that. I have a different song that I wrote called Railroad Working Man that I had wrote based on my grandfather's life on the railroad working there. So I just get it from, you know, the stuff I see. Stuff that I see, I just come up with rhymes in my head and I, I fiddle around with that and it just goes from there. Now you're going to be performing tonight here yeah. on Wood Songs. How excited are you to do that? I am, you know, I'm very excited and very, very, you know, grateful to be here and have this opportunity and uh, I'm also pretty nervous but <laughs> so Blonde Martin is that the song you'll be performing for us today that is right I'm excited to hear it you might think Madison seems much older than her 12 years but you haven't even heard her sing yet that's all about to change coming up after the break we get the chance to hear this Woodsong Kid powerhouse perform an original song Plus, we meet another talented artist and see a Woodsongs broadcast in action. It's all coming up after the break on The Local Traveler. Today, we're at the historic Lyric Theater and Cultural Arts Center in downtown Lexington, which is also home to Woodsongs Old Time Radio Hour. Earlier, we learned more about the international broadcast from Woodsongs founder, Michael Jonathan. We also talked with Woodsongs kid, Madison Lewis. This 12-year-old began humming songs before she could talk and learned to play piano by ear. She also plays fiddle, but it is the guitar where her true passion lies. Here is Madison Lewis performing her original song, Blonde Martin. It's easy to be blown away by Madison's talent and powerful vocals. 
I'm sure we'll be hearing much more from this Eastern Kentucky native in the future. Another soulful Woodsong singer is Layla McCalla. This multi-instrumentalist sings in French, Haitian Creole, and English. Her 2013 debut album was named Album of the Year by the London Sunday Times and Songlines magazine. I'm talking with Layla McCalla, and you are a very, just amazingly talented folk singer. Thank you. From New Orleans, right? Thank you. Yep, that's where I call home. How did you learn that you had this talent? I'm still learning, I think. <laughs> um, I started playing cello when I was about eight years old through the public school system in my hometown of Maplewood, New Jersey. Um, along the way, taught myself to play guitar, you know, got interested in folk music and, um, and started writing songs. And then I got really serious about my classical um, training, you know, with my cello playing and then at some point decided I didn't want to be a classical musician and kind of branched off and uh, started figuring out different ways to play cello from a lot of different sources, mostly playing with other people and experimenting with getting off of the page and, and follow, really learning how to trust my ear and, and follow my ear. And, I think that's what's led me to this moment. <laughs> <laughs> well, what connects you really with folk music? I mean, why did you make that change? Is it the storytelling? I think partially it's the storytelling. It's uh, the history um, in the music that I'm really interested in. My family's from Haiti, and I play a lot of uh, Haitian folk music. And um, living in Louisiana has really connected me to that heritage and also to Louisiana history. Playing original songs, I mean, is it, it just talk to me about what it must be like to have that kind of expression, to just get up and express yourself and really expose yourself in, in some ways if it's very vulnerable in front of an audience. Yeah, I think it is a really vulnerable position. I've definitely had those moments where I'm about to play my song and I realize like, maybe this song is terrible, <laughs> you know, and no one will like it. And then you open it up and, you know, and it, it's like, oh, wow, people do think it's interesting. And, you know, that, that feeling of validation is really powerful. I'm sure it spurs you on to keep going. and For sure. I say that all the time to, you know, to my fans, that, that their support is what sustains my life. So, you know, it's important to me to, to feel that connection and to share that with people. Just moments before going on stage for a sound check, Layla agreed to grace our viewers with one of her original songs. Changing tide, river rise, the water's high. Layla's music reflects her eclectic and diverse life experiences. Her sound has an earthy and eloquent simplicity that really connects with an audience. Although Layla and Madison each have enough talent to draw a crowd themselves, they'll also share the stage with Grammy-nominated Iris DeMint. Considered to be one of the greatest voices in contemporary popular music, Iris has collaborated with peers such as Steve Earle and Emmylou Harris. And the power that propels the enchanted 
Woodsong's Old Time Radio Hour began in 1998 and has been a wonderful collaboration of folk music and community ever since. And the best part is, this global show is produced right here in the bluegrass. Beginning their flight. Make sure and add Woodsong's to your local traveler's list.